I think the single most interesting and promising area of research into the causes of breast cancer have to do with the human mammary tumor virus, a virus which appears to be very similar to the mouse mammary tumor virus and which some scientists believe may be responsible for a significant portion of human breast cancer. This virus has been around since 1936. People have been looking at this for a long time. There's been positive information and negative information, but now in terms of everything available to molecular biologists, I think this is really the time when we can find the answer. And so I think if the money and the resources are there, the answers can really be found. We study viruses because, as we know, now with the cervix carcinoma, it's well established that there is a virus, the human papillomavirus, and thanks to the work of many people, especially of Sorhausen, who got the Nobel Prize uh, last year, it was possible to develop a vaccine. And having a vaccine makes a whole of the difference because then you don't get infected and you have protection. We, we found 37% of the breast tumors that we looked at, and these were American women, um, the percent that we looked at were positive. Dr. Pogo initially reported 38.5%, so we were right in the ballpark. There was a paper published that showed that in areas that were very um, highly um, infected with mice that carried a, a, lot amount, a lot of amount of this virus, that there was a higher incidence of human breast cancer. So countries that had mice, that, a certain species, that carried a lot of the virus, it seemed that there are higher incidences of human breast cancer. So that was, you know, some information that it was coming from the mouse, but how it's coming and how the infection takes place, nobody knows. Well, what we do know for sure is that the mouse mammary tumor virus causes breast tumors in mice. We know that. We know that it is present in human breast tumors, okay? We know it's in a certain percentage. Okay. And now what we really have, to, and, we, and we know that it's infectious, okay? We know that it can be transferred, that it you know, grow it in cells, it's going to grow in other cells, so the virus can certainly grow. We, we need to prove that the virus cause cancer. Uh, we have infect cells by the virus, and we are in the process of studying whether these cells become malignant by working in vitro and in vivo. I mean, we really find out that the virus per se can change the, the cells and the cells become transformed. It will prove that the virus is able to do it. And therefore, the possibility of having vaccines is not so far away. If we discover, if we're able to prove that a virus causes breast cancer, then I believe that the treatment options will change. First of all, we'll have an opportunity, at least theoretically, to prevent the disease. And secondly, for women whose breast cancers are caused by a virus, it's very likely that there will be uh, targeted therapies to help that particular form of the disease. We do now know that we have an opportunity to prevent cervical cancer mm -hmm. through the use of HPV vaccine. Um, we do also know that by early diagnosis we can do something about cervical cancer. So what makes us think that the same isn't applicable to breast cancer? <laughs> I think the biggest challenge for this research right now is to be accepted by the scientific community. I think the scientific community must realize that mouse viruses are playing a role, I think, in human breast cancer. And if they are, if they're not, I think they really have to look into this to give them money so that it can really be looked at, the question, and decided what's really going on. But I think not to give them money and not to have labs be able to look at this question is really a disaster, because I think it's more and more um, data is coming out showing that these mouse viruses are there, and I think that they're involved in human disease.
if 2% um, of the money that's spent on breast cancer research is spent on discovering the causes or preventing the disease, and yet 30 to 40% of breast cancer appears to be preventable, then I think the arithmetic needs to change. If we can prevent 30 to 40% of breast cancer, then that's the portion of research money I think we should spend trying to do so. The Pink Virus Project is the first major initiative of the Breast Health and Healing Foundation that I founded uh, in 2008 to focus more attention on finding the causes of breast cancer. Uh, the Pink Virus Project is a collaborative effort uh, among uh, researchers and other collaborators um, to really answer the question, does a virus cause breast cancer in women? The um, mission is to answer the question, does a virus cause breast cancer in women? The vision is to do this collaboratively, to work with multiple stakeholders so that we avoid the kind of chimney and silo mentality, uh, but we really cobble together a collective effort. And the goal of the Pink Virus Project is to answer this question within five years. I could come in one day and I could see that the protein that we took out of the human breast tumor cells really has caused the tumors to grow, and there it is, you know, and then we can really start thinking of ways to inhibit it and ways to um, maybe vaccinate against the virus. So it could, be, it could be quick, but the more labs that we can have working on it, the more minds that can think about ways to do these experiments, the faster it's going to be. It is time to answer the question. It is time to answer the question. It's time to answer this question. It's time to answer the question.